Heads up, there are a lot of spoilers ahead. Whatever happened to bringing joy to the fans this season? Because what just happened in the mid-season premiere? That simultaneously broke everyone's hearts. In the two-hour crossover episode with Station 19, aptly titled Helplessly Hoping, Grey's Anatomy creators went and did it. They killed off 31-year-old Dr. Andrew DeLuca right on the operation table at Gray Sloan Memorial Hospital, stomping on fans' hearts. Here is the real reason Andrew DeLuca, played by the charming Giacomo Gianniotti, left the show. Was it planned? Did the actor do something to make the producers kill him off? Let's see. This time, Meredith Grey encountered someone new on her magical beach. Most of the season, as she struggles with COVID-19, fans have seen her have heartbreaking and uplifting overdue conversations with old friends who were taken too soon in the series, such as Derek and George O'Malley. DeLuca, in this purgatory beach, was there to say goodbye. Fans have seen DeLuca go through such a powerful journey from intern to romantic to a mental health crisis and back again as Krista Vernoff, who wrote the episode, said with a smile. First appearing in the 24th episode of season 11, DeLuca made his mark on both the audience and the interns in the hospital. First was a brief relationship with Maggie Pierce, followed by his developing feelings for Joe Wilson. His sister, Karina, is introduced to the show, who begins dating his roommate, Arizona Robbins. DeLuca's ex-girlfriend comes in for a brief relationship that ends when she leaves before getting deported. Which brings us to the center of the show, Meredith Grey. It was hard for a male character to come in and try to fill Derek's shoes, even though the actor insisted that this wasn't his purpose. But DeLuca was pretty dreamy. He loved Meredith. But all of DeLuca's storylines weren't just romantic. Giacomo perfectly portrayed DeLuca's mental illness struggles. We saw him break down and get back up. Now that his final story arc just concluded, his death marks the fifth series regular to have its fate end in fatality. And what a chilling death scene it was. There was a moment of relief where DeLuca was desperately operated on to save his life. The emergency surgery, led by Owen and Teddy, was a success, until it wasn't. When he was visiting Meredith, we didn't pick up the metaphor of him frantically building a sandcastle before the tide came in and washes it away, saying, I had plans. He bids farewell to his former love interest, and he finds comfort in joining his late mother and walks off into the sunset. So why did the show creators do us dirty like this? In an interview with Variety, Vernoff revealed that she knew that she's the worst for killing off DeLuca. Vernoff also revealed that they didn't have a plan to kill him at the end of the last season. But Vernoff wanted to show people that a person can go through a mental health crisis and come out the other side and be a functional, contributing member of the hospital staff. But as of the new season, his death was one of the first creative imaginings that she had as she imagined what new storylines would unfold. Giacomo said they approached him saying, Hey, we've been doing a lot of thinking about it, and we feel there's an opportunity to tell a really, really beautiful story that is going to help a lot of people. The producers explained, what if we could catch that woman that trafficked that young girl? And what if DeLuca was to save the day, but to lose his life in the process? To die a hero, saving all these people and all these children who potentially could have been trafficked, but now will not be because the traffickers were stopped. He thought it was a beautiful way for the character to exit as a hero. As to whether or not DeLuca will make another heart-wrenching scene on the beach of this season, the answer is a definitive no. Vernoff firmly expressed that him walking away with his mom was the most powerful closure for that character. But all hope is not lost. Vernoff added, but you will see him again, just not on the beach. Giacomo's reaction to leaving the show was both hilarious and touching. He tweeted the touching message to his fans, saying, so much I could say, but all that comes to mind is thank you. Thank you to all the fans who loved DeLuca as much as I did. Telling his story was, and will be, one of the great honors of my life. Thank you. The producers and creators sent him off with as much warmth, saying, Giacomo has brought so much talent and so much heart to the role of Andrew DeLuca. We at Grey's Anatomy are grieving the death of this character with all of you. 
Giacomo remains a member of our family not just in perpetuity, but for more of this season. You will see him again, as actor and as director. Thank you, Giacomo, for your performance, your talent, your grace. Ellen Pompeo also paid a tribute to him, posting on both Twitter and Instagram, starting off by saying, bravo, then added, you will be missed. Thank you for showing up and being the consummate professional every time you walked on set. Gray's is a masterclass in patience and in having to be present no matter how monotonous it may get. You aced it. Now you get to go have some fun and apply all that skill. I'm excited for your future. And remember, wine and pasta with me will always be a part of it. Tu amico per sempre. But during the airing of the episode, Giacomo managed to make the ultimate exit. The hashtag will haunt you forever. He tweeted, How's everyone enjoying the crossover event so far? At Gray's ABC at Station 19. Hashtag Stabby Stabby. Hashtag Ouch. Hashtag Beach Vibes. Yes, he went ahead and tweeted Stabby Stabby, as if fans' hearts weren't shattered as many had explained. Shattered hearts weren't the only reactions. Many felt like DeLuca deserved more than his ending, no matter how heroic it was. Other notable fan reactions include everyone dying except Owen, and that's just not right. And finally watched hashtag Grey's Anatomy, no one talks to me for a week. All right, now, so what's next? For both the show and for Giacomo. Following the episode, there is no telling how Meredith will take to DeLuca's death. Then we have Corinna. How is she going to take this? Not very kindly, for sure. Giacomo went on to direct a Grey's Anatomy episode. For him, Andrew DeLuca's story isn't fully over yet. We can expect to see him back. The fandom honestly cannot handle another death at this point. What did you think of DeLuca's tragic ending? How do you expect the rest of the characters to react? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Celeb Space, and turn on notifications.